You know what? What are you named after? Or who? The great. Michael Bye. Jackson, Jordan, Johnson. Boy, just name Bye. Any Michael is great, basically. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So, that's the only thing I think I was named after. She's my mom will probably... Sir, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Mike Reed TV, and I'm back with another video. This time it's gonna be a good old mukbang. I'm here with my bed, Amanda. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Amanda. That was quick, <laughs> but anyway, um, I got a couple questions we're gonna ask each other, and then you know, we're just gonna pig out for right now on the menu. We got you know, what I'm saying the beef ribs, got some stuffing, got some string beans. Mine's keto friendly. Cottage cheese his favorite. Green beans and ribs. I hate cottage cheese. And I <laughs> hate cottage cheese. But anyway, I know if you're new to this channel, go ahead and do me a favor while I'm pulling this up. Go ahead and jump down, hit that subscribe, hop over, hit that like, and make sure you hit that thumbs up so you know when your boy is live, you catch every video. Because you know what? I got to get that watch time. I need that watch time. So. I guess we're going to start eating and then we're going to ask a couple questions. But you know me, I go for my sides first. So, hold on. All right. Now, Max, you the first question. Okay. And you got to be for real. We have not prepped these questions, just so everyone knows. She got to be for real, too. Okay. First question. After a breakup, would you rather be alone or surrounded by people? Uh, surrounded by people. I would rather be alone. Because when you're around people, you got all those voices in your ear. Or you can't think clearly. being around people helps take your mind off of a breakup and helps you heal better. It depends. If you're person dependent, as what they call it. Damn, it's hot in here. What is this? But if you're person dependent, then yeah, I guess. So. I'm not person Even if dependent. Not, I just would rather be around people. Why would you want to be alone while you're sad? I mean, some people do hit the bottle kind of hard. <laughs> when they're each other when they're sad. But, I mean, I guess so. So, but hey, what would you do? Put your answer to the comment or to the question in the comments for me. You know? And we're going to move on to the second question. So, are you a dog person or a cat person? You already know that answer. <laughs> I am completely a cat person. Dogs lick too much. They jump. They scratch. They drool. Cats just love. They cuddle. Until the cat is shitting on your stuff. I think that just told you what he is. Are you a cat or a dog person? I don't like cats. I hate cats. <laughs> it's well, not true. He used to snuggle the cat we had. I like dogs. No, he liked that cat. So, we've never had a dog. I don't believe that. Cat. He oh. keeps promising oh, our cat. child a dog, though. Oh, he gonna get a dog? Yeah, maybe. Probably gonna be something like a Rockwiler mixed with a box or something crazy. I don't even know. We'll see. Team dog all the way, though. So, we got the next question. Yeah, I can't eat how I want to because I'm holding the phone. Hold on. All right, so. Are you named after anyone? Mm -mm. No. A song. I guess Boston sang a song called Amanda. Not I guess. They do. And my parents named both me and my sister after a song. You know what? What are you named after? Or who? The Greats. Michael bye. Jackson, Jordan, Johnson, Boy, just name it. Any Michael is great, basically. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So, that's the only thing I think I was named after the Michael Jordan or something. was like, this young cat is great. He's going to be great. So, what do you think she did? She named me Michael. Hint. Oh, yeah. Mike Reed TV. Hit that sub button. Make sure you hit that. But, let's see. Let me ask you a question. Can you close your eyes mm -hmm. and raise your eyebrows at the same damn time? I don't know. What do you mean? I don't know. Try it. 
What y'all think? Did it work? I'm gonna try it. Yeah, way easy. Way easy. That was well, a challenge. Well, are you smiling or are you like smirking? It doesn't or are you really matter. That out? wasn't part of the question. Well, I'm just saying. Mm. It could have been. I bet every person watching this can do that. Try it right now. <laughs> Try it. Can it wasn't it? a challenge. Oh, no. That was easy. Now it's time to get to the hard one. Have you ever urinated in a pool? <laughs> Tell the truth. I mean, yeah. Definitely. Oh. Not as an adult, but as a child, you do not want to get out of the pool. You don't. Well, I know. If you're from Arkansas, you know we had the Web Center pool. The what? It was called the Web Center. What's that? That's where everybody in the hood goes swimming. Last thing you want to be caught doing is pissing in the pool. How would you be caught? Because it turned blue around. No, it doesn't. Comment. Does it's, it turn blue down below or no? only in the movies. Who said the Adam Sandler joint? That really happens. Chlorine. Well, not just chlorine, but whatever they put in the chlorine in the pools. I swear. But I don't think I ever pee in the pool just because... When I'm in there, in the pool, which I ain't been in the pool in a long ass time, but no, he does not swim in pools. Man, cause chlorine, shit, skin up. You know what I'm saying? I'm about that skin, you know. But anyway, the stuff they put in the chlorine is what make it, you know, turn blue. But she's peed in the pool, so you guys know. You've never peed in a pool. I don't you think haven't I ever been peed. swimming enough to pee in a pool. Did you pee in a lake? Yeah, I peed in a couple lakes in my day. Couple lakes in my day, yeah. I'll take down a lake any day. And then you fish and eat the fish you're catching that you're peeing on. Well, I fried at 350 degrees Fahrenheit, so therefore it comes Ew. out all smacked and crunchy with the cornmeal good. But anywho, let's go to the next question. All right. I'm right, looking at this question. It's for everybody, too. How many times do you let the phone ring before you answer it from somebody you really don't want to answer it from? You answer it, but how many times do you let it ring? Probably to the point right before it says missed call. But if it's somebody who's calling that I don't want to talk to, I'm not going to answer it. So she Watch just told you, if you're a friend, if it ring like 10 seconds, she ain't even trying to talk to you. I mean, I'm busy. <laughs> No, I definitely, I I mean, I don't know. If I don't know the number, I'll answer it, period. But Same. I need to because I got electronic business. So I'd be kind of weirded out by that group. You know, bill collectors hit you up like, yo, Mr. Reed, we ain't waiting on you. Now we got you. So, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Maybe three times because you got to take that first ring. You're like, damn, this is one. Second ring, it's like, oh, my God. Third ring is like, all right, man, I'm answering. I'm answering. What's up, dude? Come on back. You want to come be on the mukbang with us? Mm -hmm. Come back here. Hey. This is the young guy, Elijah. You've seen us grow up. My first board. Say what's up. Say what's up. The camera's right there, bud. Oh, you see it? You want to answer a question? Say hi. You want to answer a question? Hi. What do you want? A dog? Boy, you was playing out there, rolling around, stomping around, jumping up and down. Can what I do you want, a cat or a dog? Cat. Oh, my yes. God. Yes. I want a cat and a dog. Oh, we both win. I love both. You can't have both. You can only <laughs> pick one. That's not fair. That's not a part of the game. You can have both, baby. Not you a part want of the both? game. No, I don't want both. I only want one. I only want a dog. You can have both. You can have everything you want. <laughs> you can have both, Daddy. Why? Cause they're right there, Dad. All right. Well, I'm gonna ask you another question then, but He's, no, you say something. Bang. You say say question, Dad. All right. So that was Elijah, Young King. 
He came to join us on the mukbang. But anyway. He's only three. Only three, about to be four. Going all four. <laughs> However, back to these questions. Now, how old were you when you found out Santa Claus wasn't real? I don't know. Uh, I know that it was dragged out until I possibly couldn't believe anymore. I feel like it was between 9 and 12. Maybe My 11. 12 seems old. Maybe 11. My mom's in the hood. Uh -uh. Have you ever thought Santa Claus brought them damn gifts and mama didn't work for them? Oh, you're wrong. No. Up until probably like three when I could remember, yeah, Santa Claus, all that. After that, mama got them gifts. This Santa one. Claus is good for the taking pictures with, going to the mall. Yeah. Mom's got those gifts, though. No. Say Santa got them. This has actually been a disagreement between us because I want to keep our sons as young and innocent for as long as I can. And Mike told me certain gifts I could not put from Santa last year for Christmas. Mm, I, I agree with Santa. I, you know, I love it for the kids and everything, but I, I'm not going to put a PS4 under the tree and say it's from Santa. That's going to be from Pops. You know what I'm saying? Like, he ain't bringing that. He's going to bring some socks to you or something or some candy. That's what's going to be from Santa. To a three-year-old, mm -hmm. everything's from Santa. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter what the tag says. That PS4 is going to say from dad. <laughs> That's how I have And he'll remind him every day when he plays that it's from dad, too. Sure. But, got a couple more questions. Then we're going to get up out of here until the next mukbang. 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 I done heard it so many ways on the internet, on YouTube. I don't even know how to say it. However, we'll get to the next question. All right, so this is going to be the last question of this mukbang. And it's going to be, <laughs> oh, this is <a> good. <laughs> if you could pick one, would you rather have infinite money or never-ending love? never ending love but I think he knows that I am a hopeful romantic and I think there's plenty of rich people who have all the money in the world and still want love so I'm gonna go with love and I think you're gonna go with money infinite bread yeah infinite bread man I've seen people married 50 years what happened they get divorced then what happened what is what did all that fifty years mean? Now some memories people, they laugh. and love. Yeah. You want to carry those memories? Fifty years and y'all split up. You want to carry those fifty years worth of memories? Give me infinite money. Me and my judgment, I'm gonna find that anyway, regardless. But you don't. So you mean to tell me you go for infinite love? Some happen. And that money, you just you. you, you so what you if gonna it's do infinite, it's lasting forever. It's everlasting love. It's not going to run out like money could. If you, if you're going to be old and alone and broke. It's infinite money. You could be old and in love. It's infinite money, though. It's infinite love, everlasting. Anyway, you guys, let me know what you want. Would you rather have infinite money or never-ending love? Which one? You got to pick one. Let me know in the comments. But until the next mukbang, do me a favor, jump down, hit that subscribe. I'll wait for 10 seconds while I take another bite of my rip. Make sure you tap that subscribe. You tapped it? Cool. Hit that thumbs up. Make sure you like it. The more times you like it, the more people see it, the more we'll do. You know, it might even have my son in more. You know what I'm saying? And definitely turn on post notifications. You want home parcel location? You never know when I'm live. But until the end, yes, sir. Bye. And we out.